What up guys? I know a lot of you don't have particular from Red Giant, so I started messing around with CC Particle World, and I came up with a few things, like this one. I didn't render these out to RAM because I, uh, I guess I was lazy. Um, I don't know, cool looking effect, it spirals around. Hello, so yeah, we'll make that. And we'll make this one. Kind of a, I don't know, barrier looking thing that flies off along the edges. So we're going to make these two things that you can do just with the uh, CC product world, but you can, well, you can make them so, uh, all in After Effects. So, uh, Let's get started. So make a new project, 1080, however long you want. And add a solid in. And then add CC Particle World. Twirl down the little guy line things. And because uh, when you're working on it, they show up. So I'm just going to turn them off. All these. All right. And, uh... I'm going to go into the physics and change this to twirl. It's twirling down, so we're just going to put the gravity into the negatives. Just up enough so it looks like the same. And then I'm going to take the producer Y, move it down. And this extra is like the twirl on it, so kind of winds it up so just find something that looks cool and crazy this also twirls it um, alright now we're gonna go into the particle settings line is fine and we're just gonna change this to custom and the custom I actually worked fine so you can change the colors here though and um so now we got this, that's pretty much it with the particle world, you can't really do much. And we're going to add my one of my favorite effects, actually I'm going to turn something off real quick because we're on 16 bit, if you click on here, and I'm just going to turn this off just so you see what yours will be looking like for right now until we switch it back on. And I'm going to add a, oh, select it. Gonna add a vector blur. We can change it to direction center, like 20. You can see now we're getting these little, little wavy things going on. Might have to play with that a little more. And we're gonna add a glow. Let's bring this up a lot. So yeah, now we're getting this nice little fire thing going on, and um, I'm gonna start right before it goes up, like while it's going up, there. and then the particle, and where the extra is, I'm gonna just animate it so when it goes up, uh, it's gonna start twirling. You can animate both of those just so it just starts spinning around as it's going up, so it looks cool. And um, to make it like I switched off, you go back to the since ah, 16 bit per channel thing and switch the color space to sRGB for internet stuff, and then turn uh, linearize workspace on. It'll just make it the colors react more how light would, so depending on what you're working with, trying to make it realistic into a scene, like this. I don't know why you would. Maybe use this as like a command me or something. You get some holes, so you can just turn the um, particle rate up. Maybe that's a little too much, but you get the idea.
You can, like plant that back in the distance and then oh my god it's a hurricane. I don't know. Just something else that you could use. Alright now let's make another one. Do the other one. Alright so get rid of that. That's new solid. New particle world onto that. Turn off all stuff. And uh, we're gonna go to the, uh, the physics and change this to jet sideways. And we're gonna add a floor onto it. And uh, the floor action we're gonna change to bounce. So now it's acting like it's a floor and particles are bouncing off it. You can change these. I'm gonna bring it up. Spread it down. Then the randomness. Turn up a little bit. Alright, that's good for that. And uh, it's coming down. In the extra setting, there's a effect camera, which I didn't know existed in here because I never use it. But you can kind of fly it around like a camera, kind of. I'm just going to zoom out just to fit everything into the frame. And then the producer, I'm just going to grab the Y position and drag this up. with that. I'm just going to zoom out a little more to get everything in. Alright. And that's pretty much it for <laughs> that again. Just getting the basic setup. And then we're going to add the going to add effect in calls. It's CC Pixel Poly. It's kind of like a particle system of its own. It breaks the image into little triangles and whatnot and makes them fall. So um, I'm going to make a lot more of them, but turn the space into five. I'm going to turn the force way down and the gravity, well, it's not going to the negatives yet. But it still drops instantly, so we're going to turn the gravity to zero, so it just would, would float like in space. So it's not really doing anything, but turning into a little little dots. As you can see as it goes down, it goes up and looking cool and we're just going to make this look sweet by adding in, you guessed it, a vector blur. Uh, natural's fine. 15 maybe. So you can see now we're getting the little design thing and uh, if you're trying to composite over something like that, you'll see it kind of goes away. So you can just go in the particle world and turn up the producer a lot more. Maybe way more. And then color correct it. Maybe put a curve on it. Get darker. And then you can go into the alpha and then boost the alpha if you need to. I'll kind of fill it in. So now you can use it as like a barrier or force field. I don't know. Whatever. And uh, one more thing you could do since it's at the because of the pixel poly, it's still going to... Actually, looks like it's not doing it. But you could uh, keyframe the um, pixel poly's force and whatnot. So in case you wanted it to scatter more to do more of a dynamic uh, effect or whatever you have those options too and you can probably do something cool with that but just giving you ideas to use your all the basic plugins within After Effects to make something cool out of them so just using the um, you know default little line fountain um, firework thing by default that looks terrible uh that thing yeah that whatever you want to call that sparkler we'll go sparkler okay so that's all i wanted to show you 
hopefully you can be creative and do something cool with the normal stuff in here. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Not new solid, cancel.